Vaughan Williams is a favourite composer for choir singers, especially for his C Symphony, but also for a number of shorter works for choir and orchestra. Many of you will also know his unaccompanied Mass in G minor, written in 1921, and which was the first such work written in England for liturgical use since the days of the great Renaissance composers such as William Byrd and Thomas Tallis. Vaughan Williams' Mass is written for double choir, two choirs each in the usual four voice parts, with a solo vocal quartet added at various significant moments. He adopts much of the style of earlier times, but his harmony was modal and individual, breaking many of the rules of classical composition. The writing varies between a sort of plain song, Vaughan Williams' own makeup of a Gregorian chant style, polyphony where the individual vocal lines interweave independently, and chordal writing where the two choirs frequently take it in turns to answer each other antiphonally. The solo quartet sings some of the most tender music. The overall effect is one of serenity, a superbly crafted work which goes far beyond its individual components in achieving a unity and warm breadth of expression. I sang this Mass several times under David Wilcox in King's College Chapel. David had a fine grasp of its dimensions and a real understanding of how it should be paced, essential if one is to realise the great intentions of its composer. Richard R. Terry, the early 20th century organist and choirmaster of Westminster Cathedral and responsible for the revival of the music of the 15th and 16th century composers such as Taverner, Ty, Bird and Talis, said when he first saw this music, this is the work we have all been waiting for. I hope you enjoy listening to it and reading more about it in the blog on my website.